Good morning, MJ. Good morning, everyone. Dr. Tina, good morning. Hey, good morning, Dr. Chris. Welcome, everyone. Thank you, MJ. Great to have you on today. Uh, it's going to be an exciting one. We're going to actually show some clinical before and afters where you can see such great results. You know, visually see some of the results that people are getting with their tele youth. So we tend to have this myth. We think, okay, you know what, we're aging, we're gonna lose energy. And the reality is, is we age because we lose the ability to make energy. So we don't lose energy as we age. It's just the opposite. We age faster when we lose that ability to make energy because we're energy beings first. If you think about it, everything is energy, everything vibrates. And there's so much to us. Uh, giving, giving you an example, let's say that you meet someone and you go, ooh, I'm not sure I like being around them. You're picking up all of their energy, right? Or you're with someone and they're so inspiring and uplifting and you're like, I love their energy. We are all energy beings and we have to remember that. So as we're looking at today's slides, we're gonna be thinking about how do we not only maintain our own energy, but how do we accelerate it? How do we make more? Well, here are some of the challenges that uh, we face or experience that rob us of our energy. And um, if we take a look first at the bottom there, poor mitochondrial function. This, these are the little energy machines in every one of our cells. I mean, we have hundreds and thousands actually of, of um, mitochondria in our cells. So when we have this poor mitochondrial function, it really accelerates the aging process because it impacts the energy dynamics of our physiology. And then you see um, the metabolic imbalances. These, these are the things we talked about when we think about the systems that start to break down. And you see um, symptoms like blood sugar, uh, low or high blood pressure, generally high oxidative stress, which are, is a reflection of, um, you know, rusting in the body and, and, and why you hear so much about antioxidants as we age and how important they are. And so these are the metabolic imbalances that reflect our accelerated aging. And then uh, another um, impact that shows uh, in our diagnosis uh, is low-grade inflammation and, and this inf inflammatory process when it's chronic, it really accelerates aging. So how do, how do all these things happen? Well, uh, generally from outside influences, the you know, environmental toxicity, the food, air, water, the electromagnetic fields that we're experiencing now you know, coming at us from all directions. And then we see the invasive microbes. Um, just think about the pandemic we're going through now because of a virus. So the viruses, the bacteria, the fungi, these little microbes um, are so, they proliferate when our bodies start to get out of balance and we're much more susceptible. So this is why we emphasize building your immunity and, and, and to do that, you need to have the energy. So you restore the energy, the energy makes healthy tissue, and then all of a sudden you have healthy systems again. So um, uh, we emphasize diet, nutritional deficiencies. You know, when you um, get imbalanced with your vitamins and minerals and essential fatty acids, and the antioxidants we just talked about. So <clears throat> all of this impacts our bodies and the microbiome too. Dr. Tina, that's, that's a big area that's um, uh, new to uh, conventional medicine, but we've known all along that um, you know the, the good bacteria are so critical, right? Oh, so critical. And when you talk about these outside invaders, like the environmental toxicities uh, or nutritional deficiencies, they affect our microbiome so poorly when we're so over 
to you know toxified by these these different things and you know when you bring up all of these system challenges we have to realize this is life you know we are going to be exposed um, to these toxins it's the way it is we are going to be exposed to um, you know low grade inflammation based on on all of these other things that uh, we might have a nutritional deficiency but when we when we look at um, what can we do about this, you know, other than taking your tele youth, we'll talk about that. You know, really, it, it's about kind of picking two or the two or three of these really major things, like making sure you're having the clean, clean water, you know, and really eliminating some of those processed foods. Well, all of those things, those little things that you do are going to matter today and tomorrow. So everything you do, again, matters. Um, you bring up low-grade inflammation, Dr. Chris, and there's this thing called silent inflammation. And we don't even know sometimes that we have this silent inflammation um, until it turns out to be a really big issue. And we can see that on this next slide. So uh, for instance, when we're young here on the left-hand side, think of your body as a building and it's, it, it needs very little maintenance. It takes care of itself. Um, it's a strong structure. And then over time, and, and this does take time, we move over into that right side where we start to feel some of those pains because the inflammation, that silent inflammation is now starting to speak to us. We have a difficult time in recovering when we do anything strenuous or you know, exercise. And then we start to see the major imbalances over on that right-hand side. And that's when the structure all of a sudden needs that major, major maintenance crew. But this is that accelerated aging side on the left-hand side, youth, vitality, energy. On the right-hand side, just the opposite. Well, what you're, what you're showing there, Dr. Tina, with that uh, metaphor, the analogy of the buildings is years and years of breakdown because the body's designed phenomenally. It has many, many backup systems. And so before we can see, here's, Here's an individual that we've shown in the past, Sharon, um, and she had a dramatic change in her markers. These are her blood markers. And this is after 10 months on the rejuvenation program. And um, what I wanted to say initially is that for things to show up in your blood markers means that you have multiple systems breaking down. So it's just not one little area that's being isolated or changed because the body has all these backup systems to protect itself, to maintain its balance or homeostasis as we refer to it. This is the harmony between all the different systems. <clears throat> so when you look at um, Sharon's uh, clinical picture here, you see that when she uh, started out, um, her hemoglobin was was low and it after the 10 month period on the rejuvenation program, it increased, it doubled. And hemoglobin is the uh, function of the red blood cells to hold your oxygen, to maintain oxygen. So what is the oxygen? Oxygen is where the mitochondria get the electrons to make energy. So that's the energy production. So without oxygen, you have no energy, you have no life. Um, the fat metabolism is shown there. The cholesterol was, was high at the beginning uh, when this test was taken. And then 10 months later, you see it reduced into normal healthy ranges. So there's a nice shift there. And these are reflected in all the fat markers. The HDL is the uh, good cholesterol and the good cholesterol went up. So the, we need fats. We need the good fats in our body to maintain the membranes of our tissue and, and, and the healthy structure and communication that goes on. So the, the HDL is very important, but then the low density lipoproteins, the LDL was high, and these are the fats that aren't being used properly. They're not being converted. 
And when they're high, it shows that there's a backup in the system. And um, so the LDL and triglycerides in Sharon's case show that she was uh, depositing fats and, and not metabolizing them or utilizing them and converting them into the healthy uh, functions and structures that the, the fats would provide. So again, 10 months on the rejuvenation program and look at the good fats went up and the bad fats started to be um, metabolized or utilized appropriately. Very significant. So this, this would be a dramatic shift in, um, for a practitioner to see. And the last marker there is TSH. That's the thyroid uh, stimulating hormone. And that comes from the pituitary gland. That's the master gland in the brain. And that uh, stimulates the thyroid in order to um, you know, regulate, balance the metabolism in the body. And metabolism means how your body works, how it uh, digests food, how it makes energy, how it uh, regulates itself. And in her case, this you see this uh, stimulating hormone comes down, meaning that the thyroid didn't need to be uh, constantly uh, activated and triggered because there was more harmony, there was more balance. So Sharon went in 10 months, dramatically rejuvenated in her, her blood work, just showed she, uh, you know, gained just so much more vitality and energy in her bodily functions. It's like she's functioning instead of a 68 year old person, she's functioning like a 50 year old person or even younger with uh, these markers being so, so much improved. Right. Anything, anything you want to add to that? Yes. Yes. Thank you. I mean, this, this is remarkable. 10 months on the rejuvenation program, 10 capsules or excuse me, 16 capsules a day. That was eight in the morning and eight before dinner. And when you're talking about the TSH and the thyroid, we see so many people with an, a, a thyroid that's just working so hard because it's taking on the stress of the adrenals. And when you start to take telo-youth and you bring the cortisols down and you start to really balance out all of your natural hormones and, and the hormone regulation, we see a lot of times that this thyroid comes back into balance and uh, it, it, it has a lot to do with weight gain, weight loss. I mean, there's so much involved with all of these different markers and um, I would just be amazed on a before and after picture what Sharon would look like as well. I don't think we have one of those. <laughs> okay, this next gentleman, this is Mr. Sir. He, we recently received his um, test and this is after six months doing the rejuvenation program, but let me give a little background here. Um, he's a 47 year old male who experienced an acute myocardial infarction, and that's a heart attack. So he had angina pectoris, which means severe chest pain. And so obviously this is a very, very traumatic event in his life. And so, uh, when he was uh, diagnosed, you know, after his heart attack, it showed that he had high blood pressure, high cholesterol, so his, his fats were all out of balance that we showed there in the previous test, fatty liver, uh, uh, and, and fatigue. So his whole overall physiology was just compromised. And he was also borderline uh, high blood sugar, so pre-diabetic. Um, high cholesterol and uh, fatty liver disease and uh, or the liver that's 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 a key um, key organ for so many things um, yeah and dr. Chris do you want to mention which um, which marker over here on the left is is high that is that relates to the fatty liver is it the ALT sure let me let me let me go actually into each one there and you see the the glucose levels that were high so there shows the the blood sugar, and that's the first one there that uh, went from high to normal ranges. And then we look at uh, the liver function, and this is measured by the enzymes. So you see ALT, that represents the um, 
alanine trans, uh, transaminase. And that's generally seen when there's some type of um, infection or cirrhosis or, or liver disease. And in Mr. Sir's case, we knew that he had fatty liver, fatty liver disease. So that would be very indicative. And even though it shows that it's still a little bit high after the six months on the program, uh, it went from 81 to 45. And uh, that's just above normal range. So it shows the vast improvement. So very, very, very powerful there. And um, the other enzyme there that, that's shown is the ALP, and that's the alkaline phosphatase. And that one's very indicative for, um, you know, individuals that they're, they're, the liver's congested and it's um, predisposed for uh, gallbladder disease. So you, you'll look for things like blockages in the, in the bile ducts or gallstones and even uh, things like cirrhosis, hardening of the liver. And um, again, his inflammation caused the... Um, uh, fatty liver to, to be very um, prevalent. And then next you see the, um, what, what do we have there? The total cholesterol. Total cholesterol. Mm -hmm. Yes. And that one uh, came down dramatically. So that shows that his fat metabolism improved. So that dramatically shifted down. And, and part, of, part of the fats that are measured are the triglycerides but trig triglycerides are more uh, connected to um, carbohydrate consumption and the inability to handle your carbohydrates. And in his case, uh, his triglycerides went back into a normal level and you would see an improvement in his blood sugar balance. And that we dramatically saw with him. And uh, Dr. Tina, when, when um, Mr. Sir first had his heart attack, it was in the beginning of um, 2019. And he was on medications for over a year and is experiencing this fatigue and all of these symptoms. And um, he started on the rejuvenation program at the beginning of the year. And after six months on the rejuvenation program in, in 2020, these tests were done uh, six months later. And these are the results that we've got to see. And when he went back to his doctor and uh, to review the, the test after his six months, the doctor was just amazed. And, um, you know, I, I'd, I'd love to have a nickel for every time Dr. Tina and I have heard that the doctor was amazed or couldn't understand what happened because we, we'd be retired on some Caribbean island right now. I know I would be for <laughs> every time we hear from a conventional doctor that says, what did you do? What's going on here? <laughs> <laughs> yes, and so look at, at the age of 46, the young age of 46, he had this heart attack. And then this is 18 months later, he's 47. Uh, for a year, he didn't, he was not taking tell youth, but then for six months, just before this, this test, look at what happened. And the, when we're talking about the rejuvenation program, uh, we'll talk about exactly what that means later. But the results are dramatic. Just wonderful. So, yes. And here we have Bobby. I believe Bobby's on the call. So uh, we want to share a little bit about her, her situation. Uh, she's, I believe, in her 50s. And the before picture, you see all the red blood cells clumped together. This is a term we've referred to as RULU. And um, this, uh, when you see what happened after 45 minutes taking the blood sample again, all of a sudden the, the, the red blood cells were all separated out and flowing through the bloodstream. And, and then you see the, the white blood cell there too. That's um, part of the um, immune system that functions in the, in, the, in the blood. But the point to make here is that <clears throat> When you think about how the circulatory system works, when your arteries, you know, circulate the blood and deliver the oxygen and the nutrient to your cells, they pick up the debris and then the debris goes back to the veins and the veins go to the liver to, 
and, and throughout the, the body to clean out and to reoxygenate. But in that process to go from the arteries to the veins, it has to move through the tiny, tiny micro vessels called capillaries. And only one blood cell at a time can go through a capillary. So if you can imagine that your blood is all clumped together like this, it totally shuts down your circulatory process. It totally blocks your ability to get oxygen and nutrient and move and essentially the, the energy flows in your body are, are congested and blocked up. So what causes this relu? Well, it's generally a, a change in the pH, like an acidification. And um, so this would be inability to get oxygen um, or some type of dietary stress or electromagnetic um, fields that are, that are influencing uh, the body. So uh, even emotional stress, where we talked about before in, in previous presentations, can cause this. But you see what teleyouth can do can impact every one of these dynamics and show an immediate shift. So whether you feel it or not, know that it's working. And, and the, these blood pictures are just so uh, powerful examples of, of what changes in the body as soon as you start to take this uh, formulation that we've developed here for you. It's so interesting too, in, in our, our body, we can handle a lot of this on the left-hand side uh, before we actually start to feel it or, or experience it in our organs or symptoms or, you know, anything that, that really shows up for us. So, um, it, it can also be, you know, further down the road you're, where you're already feeling those symptoms and now, now your blood is like this all the time. So there's, there's, it's so interesting to me that 45 minutes after taking for tello youth you look on the right that's how many she took and george uh the practitioner that worked with her uh took another picture and isn't it this is just remarkable just remarkable um we all need to have good blood like that <laughs> okay. and here this this next uh slide is showing virginia and Virginia was on our call on Saturday and she shared uh, her situation. She had a, a genetic disorder at birth that dealt with uh, her blood. And um, here you see a much more severe uh, picture. And this is agglutination. So not only is it the clumping, the relu, but also agglutination. And what that means is that this, this clumping and congestion is caused by antibodies that develop on the surface of the blood cell. And these antibodies are there as part of an immune response that uh, is, is dealing with some type of viral or fungal infection in the body. And so for this agglutination to dramatically shift the way it did so fast tells us that Immediately, not only did the body get more oxygen and change its pH, but the immune system was implemented and initiated to deal with the, the um, you know, microbial influence that would cause these antibodies to form on the, on the red blood cells. So here again, we're talking about how do you deal with the microbial stressors that we're faced with around us constantly because you know we live in a world of microbes and that's never going to change and the best way to deal with those microbes is to have that strong immunity and strong immune system and what does telling youth do we we, we mentioned this you know, week after week it exercises the immune system it keeps it strong it provides the specific uh, molecules for the signaling required to um, uh, facilitate the body's uh, maintaining its balance and, and um, you know, um, different, different metabolic functions that they require. And uh, George Moore is the practitioner who, who took these pictures. George, I think you're on the call. Can you unmute and uh, just share anything else you'd like on, on these uh, photos that we have here, these slides? 
Good morning, Dr. Chris and Dr. Tina. Yes, uh, thank you so much. And so um, just like you mentioned, the picture that's on the left, um, it's actually a fairly common uh, condition that I see when people uh, complain of either having low energy, you talked about circulation issues, uh, that type of thing there. And so the teleuse ability to almost immediately impact that at a cellular level is just pretty amazing. You all have uh, been talking about a systems approach and of course our blood cells actually nourish every single um, organ, gland, every part of our body. So it's gonna have an effect on each and every one of our systems. And you talked about the immune function, immune system functioning better. And uh, you just as you're saying that, it just reminds me because our red blood cells outnumber white blood cells by about 700 to one, I didn't actually take a picture of the white blood cells, but normally when the blood cells are really tightly clumped, when they're agglutinated, like you mentioned on the left-hand side, um, when I look at the white blood cells that are supposed to be active and moving, they're almost always completely stationary. And then within minutes after I give a person uh, teleuse, we can see those white blood cells moving around, gobbling up all the different things that aren't supposed to be there. So you are so right. It has an impact on our red blood cells, our white blood cells, cellular energy is enhanced. And of course, um, the lighter center of the cells where the hemoglobin is, that's the part that carries oxygen. And as we get more cellular oxygen, I find that people, uh, just for example, that have brain fog, our, our brain, even though it's 3% of our body's weight, uses 20% of the oxygen. So as oxygen travels, it's amazing how mental clarity, focus, alertness happens. Um, every aspect of brain function, including the ability to produce the serotonin in the morning when we need the energy, the melatonin in the evening that helps us to sleep. And so I was one of those that experienced profoundly deep sleep the very first uh, night that I took uh, telehealth. So it does have an um, amazing uh, system-wide approach throughout the entire body. Well, thank you for that, George. That, that, was, that was great. And, and keep up the good work. Um, we, and, and sharing these photos are just uh, so powerful, these slides. Dr. Tina, should we just shift a little bit more and just explain how this all happens? Uh, the ingredients in Teleuth are designed for this cellular signaling that um, uh, George was mentioning. And uh, this involves the orchestration of all the different systems and the communication that happens like the endocrine system and the hormones that are released for communication, the central nervous system and the neurotransmitters that uh, George mentioned, the melatonin and the dopamine and the serotonin needed for the, the harmony and balance of the body. And of course, the, the, you see the aloe and the chaga and uh, the rhodiola that play such a key role in the immune function and the immune system signals with the cytokines, and these, these are the, the uh, immune signal molecules that um, orchestrate and turn on to deal with an invader and then shut down after the danger is gone so that we can go back into a healing mode instead of just, just staying stuck in a stress and a defense mode that happens um, with chronic illness where an individual doesn't uh, you know, orchestrate or regulate their metabolism the same way or their immunity. Then of course, all the enzymes, those enzymes that we showed you in the blood pictures, uh, those are in the thousands and um, function throughout the body and do different things to not just um, digest food is what we think about enzymes. No, enzymes help build and help break down and um, are key to metabolic function. And the teleuth supports all the enzymatic functions in the body. So you can experience total body rejuvenation and it starts instantly. As soon as you take the formula you saw in the blood slides, within 45 minutes, dramatic shifts happen within the circulatory system that shows the energetic change, the ionization of the, of the cells, the um, chemistry change, the pH, the acid alkaline balance shifted, and the immune function was turned on 
to deal with the debris and the congestion and, and the, uh, you know, the agglutination that we showed you there with the pictures. Uh, Dr. Tina, anything to add on, on this? Uh, Yes, if, if we want to get out of like any of the technical part of this and talk about the basics for those of you that just want to know well, what does tell you do it supports all of your systems. They're all interrelated. They all back each other up, but it supports your system, your, your digestive, your immune system, you know, your cardiovascular system, all of these different systems are supported with tello youth and when those are supported and we're building, rebuilding at that cellular level, anything that's imbalanced in the body has the ability to come back into balance. Just like that picture we were showing earlier on the left-hand side where the building was a strong building, it was new and needed little maintenance and you saw the broken down building. If you have the broken down building and you start taking your tello youth, you start to reverse and rebuild your structure and it becomes where you need less maintenance because it's going to come back to this healthy, vibrant state. All right. So what can you do? So we, we have a couple of programs that we talk about. The first one is the wellness program. And this is a minimum of three months where if you're looking for deep sleep, energy, glowing skin, pain relief, and, and longevity there on the left-hand side, those effects, um, and you're anywhere in the age group from three to 40, whether you're healthy or unhealthy, you choose that column of what suits you. Uh, let's say that you're age 40 and over and unhealthy. Then you go into the middle of that and you look at the next program that we'll talk about, which is the rejuvenation program. If you're age 40 and healthy, which is interesting, we're not finding many people today that fall into that age 40 and over in a healthy state. But if you are and you just want to maintain your health, two bottles a month, taking four in the morning and four before dinner or, or nighttime will help mediate these stressors that we are starting to really experience at such accelerated states. So let's talk about the next program, which is the true rejuvenation program, and this is age reversing technology. Let's say you want to completely rejuvenate and you need to look at the commitment of six months or plus, depending on how many of those imbalances you have, how far down the road is your structure broken down? And then you determine how many you need to take whether you're under the age of 55 or over the age of 55, and then it'll tell you how to handle that and take that. Now, if you have something where you have, let's, let's talk about uh, Mr. Soar. He obviously had a big functional and structural uh, you know, breakdown. He had a heart attack, chronic, chronic challenge. He's looking at six months to two years to completely turn around his body and do his, re his rejuvenation. And this is all very, very possible when you take your tello youth and you start to partner it with other things that your body needs to rebuild. So when you're talking about rebuilding your house, you need materials. You want the good uh, materials like the, the, the uh, electrical, the plumbing, the wood, you want all of these to rebuild. Our body needs the same thing. So you wanna make sure that you're infusing it with all of this good food, balanced food, and, and possibly supplementing with nutrition. The one thing we know people need to supplement with, with their tello youth is uh, omega-3s. So very important, we need those good essential fatty acids to rebuild our structure at a healthy level. And when you go through the rejuvenation program, we're just gonna bring up lightly here that um, most people will go through a retracing. What does that mean? It just means that you're going to feel a little worse before you feel a little better because your body is going to be cleaning out toxins. It's going to be uh, getting all that stuff out so that when you get through that retracing process, you have more energy and vitality at the end. You come through it with so much more. Dr. Chris, do you have anything to add here before I go to the next one? 
no, I just want to thank um, Bobby and Virginia for offering their s slides through through George. Uh, what a great practitioner and how fortunate you are to to be able to work with George. And, and thank you, Bernard, for sending along um, the, the clinicals from Sharon and, and Mr. Sir. So we appreciate your participation and, and helping us uh, see the, the dynamics of what telehealth can do. Yes, absolutely. Thank you. And yes, thank you, George. Before we the end, end today's webinar, you'll find in your back office that there is a self-health assessment. Before you start your Tello youth, or if you've already started it, you still want to go get this and mark down all of these things on the left, put your date down of when you started and how you feel, one being very poor and 10 feeling excellent before you start your Tello youth. And after your first month, go back and fill this in. You will be amazed at what changes that you don't even realize that changes. Um, I have to laugh because the first one, deep sleep, people forget that they weren't sleeping when all of a sudden they're sleeping through the night. It's really funny how we just take it for granted. Um, or your recovery after exercise. That's another one. If you're recovering after exercise really quickly and you weren't before, um, your tele youth is helping you dramatically with that. So make sure that you're looking at this and we put six months because the six month mark is that rejuvenation program and you really need to kind of get a feel for where you're at within each month and this allows you to be able to adjust your tele, tele youth when you need to as well we have some people that take more than 16 capsules a day because they want to move through it faster they want to rejuvenate faster um, and, and the body is uh, amazing and will take telehealth and use it uh, instead of wasting it. Dr. Chris, do you have anything to add? Uh, I really like to stress what you just said from the standpoint of um, we, when we look at these uh, markers and, and uh, what we're trying to uh, calculate here, it gives us more of an awareness of how, how we're treating ourselves, how we're, how we're dealing with life and uh, the things we're looking for. And today, you know, we're, we're just seeing more and more stressors coming into our lives. And the more conscious we can become, it really helps us uh, understand how to take care of ourselves and just live happier and fuller lives. So thank you for that, Dr. Tina. You're welcome. And the other thing too, is when we complete this form and we send it to the company and we give, you know, our story to the company, they can then uh, give it to us and we can share it with others. So thank you for all of you that are sharing your, your stories and bringing, bringing your, all of your experiences of telehealth to light because we all need to commit or co connect and be in a community because we've never been so isolated or, or detached as we are today. And so it's great to bring this community together. So every Saturday, it's an open mic, open forum where you can come and share your stories and also uh, ask your questions. And, and we're here for you and we want you to know that we really care about your telehealth journey. And again, we have to remind everyone that all of our presentations are for informational and educational purposes only. Do not substitute it for professional advice. We are not here to diagnose, treat, prevent any kind of an ailment, and make sure that if you do need health advice, you do reach out to a qualified professional. Thank you, everyone.